you can't talk about the struggle for human freedom unless you talk about the different dimensions of what it is to be human. And when we're talking about art, you're talking about meaning, you're talking about love, you're talking about resistance, you're talking about imagination, you're talking about empathy. All of these are part and parcel of what it is to talk about human freedom. And so art is about those who have the courage to use bits of reality to get us to see reality in light of a new reality. So it's about vision by means of imagination. It's about empathy in terms of looking through this world and seeing the possibilities of a new world, a better world, a more decent, a more compassionate world. And so be one a painter, musician, sculptor, dancer. In fact, be one a human being who aspires to learn the art of living. Because in the end, I think that's what the arts are really about. How do we become, all of us become artists of living, which has to do with courage, has to do with love, has to do with justice, which has to do with leaving the world better than we found it. And so for me, art is so inseparable from politics, but Brother Ernesto, you know that as a grand artist yourself. I tell you, absolutely. I think what is represented here in, in Tona Tierra uh, right in at this embassy of indigenous peoples is this wonderful center where human beings come together with memory, fighting, forgetting, to keep alive the best of what the ancestors have to teach us. And them living through us be able to give us inspiration and instruction in these new circumstances against the greed of capitalist elites against the indifference of too many fellow human beings and fellow citizens. And it's a, uh, art in the end, I think, is not just challenging, it's not just unsettling, but in the end it's inspiring. Because the human being still yearning for something better. I think probably the greatest example is the, uh, my dear brother who I see on the wall there, Bob Marley. Uh, there's just nobody like him. In fact, I actually carry around a, uh, a picture of Bob Marley's mother. Here it is right here. That, that, that she, there's no great Bob Marley without Bob Marley's mother, uh, Khadija. And she actually uh, inspires me because you can't have a freedom fighter, you can't have an artistic genius without having the history, the family, the parents those loved ones who sustain you. And so when you talk about uh, Bob Marley, you're talking about somebody in the face of British colonialism and imperialism who creates not just an individual style, but an individual style that's connected to a collective struggle that inspires people all around the world. Uh, the same would be true of Dorothy Love Coates and Bernice Reagan and the Civil Rights Movement. The same would be true these days with Talib Kweli and Carrie S. Wan and Raw Digger. Uh, in India, Ari, uh, trying to keep alive Pearl Jam, for example. Uh, Johnny Cash, the man in black. All of those artists who use their talent and genius as a form of service in the struggle for freedom. And there's always a cloud of artistic witnesses who you can see using their imagination and empathy in the struggle for human liberation. Well, I think we all have different gifts. Sometimes that gift is one of organizing, mobilizing. Sometimes that gift is one of speaking. Sometimes that gift is one of painting. Uh, sometimes a matter of being a musician like John Coltrane, a silent man of few words, but has so much to say through his horn. I think we have to be in, in tune with our own callings, in tune with our own vocations, what are the gifts that we have that we can give to others in the context of struggle for freedom and justice and make the world a better place? And that's a question that only each person can answer for themselves. Mm -hmm. So that your gift as artists would not necessarily be one giving a speech, sitting on the front row listening to every word of the speech, but you reading, thinking, reflecting deciding to be a decent, compassionate human being and saying, I'm going to use my gift as artist to make a contribution and to express 
my vision of the world, my views and viewpoints of the world. I say, this is Brother West. I'm here in Tona Tierra in this magnificent struggle of my brothers and sisters in Arizona, trying to keep track, not just of our wounds and scars, but our strengths and our tremendous possibilities of coming together, especially if our artists make contributions to this struggle. That art is essential in, in helping sustain us we learn from our ancestors, we learn from our contemporaries that without art we do not have the kind of spirit necessary to endure this serious struggle for justice. If you're an artist, be a part. Alto, Arizona.